I'm really not sure what we're doing, but here we go. Hey guys, it's ChaosHand56 here again. Um, for the Monday Manifest, although it is currently 11 o'clock at night, because I was really busy doing a lot of things today, so I never really got around to recording, and then, um, I never actually figured out a topic that I wanted to talk about. Um, somebody said something about Mario, and I was like, you know what, I could do that, but that would probably take, like, hours. I'm not even joking. Like, I have played many, many, many Mario games, and, yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised I was able to keep the Legend of Zelda one so short, but I didn't really, like, I mean, short. It's still, like, almost 40 minutes. But the Final Fantasy one was over an hour, and I've... I mean, it's it's not like I'd have to really, like, go super in-depth about it. I mean, I don't want to spoil the games for people, but, like, there's just a bunch of games, and... I'm not really sure. I didn't... I was bad. I didn't think of a, a prompt this week. I should probably actually, like, write out a list of things that I sh should talk about, and then, like... Go off of that. Should probably also record, like, on Sunday, or at least, you know, a couple of days before. Maybe I should just actually record these things, like, daily, and then, I don't know. I'm not, ex I, I'm not very good at YouTube. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at streaming. I'm not, like, famous or anything like that, but, you know, I like talking with people, and I can usually keep a conversation going. But then when it comes to me just kind of talking, I... Well, you've seen my other videos. I tend to kind of lose track of things uh, halfway through a thought because then I think of something else. And and then I have to remember what I was talking about before. Maybe that's what it'll be about. I don't know. Like, I could always rant about Twitch itself. But maybe they'd get mad at me. I mean, I guess it wouldn't really matter. Uh, I, I, I think I, I said in the... Uh, Pretty sure I said word for word in the, the TwitchCon rant video that I think that Twitch is a burning dumpster fire, but there's a lot of cool people on there, so I still use it. And that's that's just exactly what I think. Like, a lot of people might not like that, but, I mean, honestly, Twitch has a lot of problems that need to be fixed, and they're kind of sort of working on it, although they keep adding more, like, money grab type things to Twitch rather than fixing like like the whispers were a problem for the longest time they might still be a problem I never used them because they were asked before and anything anybody could whisper me uh they could just as easily tell me on Discord and at least Discord works like 99% of the time you know when Discord's down it's down but when it's up it's perfectly fine the rest of the time like uh God, what was the thing that really pissed people off? Oh, the the bits refilling thing. That was... I mean, I kind of understand, but at the same time, it's it's just like, why? Like, if people want to buy bits, they'll buy bits. Like, right then and there. I, I don't think anybody is super worried about running out. If they are, then they'll just buy more bits. Like, making an automatic, like top off thing just seems really odd like why did we need it i don't know like I, there's probably a lot of things we need like for them to actually like fucking not fuck up the api every other week and mess up people's the the, the viewers and followers and all that but <sighs> see and i'm already running out of steam like I, I i've only been talking about twitch for like three minutes and i'm just like i don't know Sorry, guys. I really should have thought of something before this. Like, another game series or just something. I mean, the only thing I can really talk about is that I've been probably watching and listening to way more Ninja Sex Party and uh, Tupperware Remix Party than anyone really needs to be in, in a short amount of time, but it's fine. Like, it's good stuff. If, if you don't know about them, you should check them out. And I know it's weird that I'm shouting them out on my own YouTube, even though I don't even have, like, much of a following myself. But hey, cool people are cool people. 
And I like that's that's one of the things. Maybe that's what I should talk about. I could talk about inspirations. You know, I start talking about that five minutes into the the fucking talk. But um, I don't know. Like when I first started streaming, there wasn't really anything about it other than just like, hey, let's try this. Like it was literally just something to do, something to try out. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people that start off on Twitch. Or a lot of even viewers that start off on Twitch are just kind of like, what is this? And then you see it, and you're like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And you know what kind of pisses me off? A lot of people have the argument, why would you want to watch somebody else play video games? But it's like, then uh, why would you watch someone play football? Because you could play football or any sport, drag racing. I mean, honestly, it that works with anything. It, the, the why would you do this if you could do this? It that's anything. And honestly, a lot of the times when people are watching other people play video games, it's either because that specific game they couldn't get into, but they enjoy seeing what other people's reactions are, or people who have already been through the game millions of times but want to see a fresh perspective on it. Because if you like something a lot. You kind of want to see what other people's reactions are, and you're you're gonna kind of hope that their reactions are similar to yours. I mean, if if you really like something, you're gonna hope that other people like it too. Granted, there's plenty of people that don't like things that I like, and plenty of things that I like that other people don't. I just said that, didn't I? I don't like a lot of things that other people like. There we go. Like Fortnite, I fucking hate Fortnite because I'm not I'm not a big fan of. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of battle royales. I'm just not. I'm not a huge competitive online player of anything. I play Overwatch. Never played it competitively. I think I, I don't know. I finally hit like high enough rank where I could, or maybe not. I don't even know. I wouldn't want to play competitively though, because a lot of those people are fucking assholes. And I'm just like, I just play a game to play. And a lot of people don't understand that. And they get really mad. And I'm just like, look, I'm, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. Whatever. Like, if you're not ranked anyway, it, it shouldn't even fucking matter. Because guess what? Like, it literally means nothing. Oh, except, I guess, their, their kill death rate goes... I don't even care about that shit. Like, at all. People who care about that too much, I don't... Unless you're, like, in the competitive world, like, and you're making money off of it, it shouldn't fucking matter anyway. But, I mean, it's just like, I live in Texas. I don't really care much for football. Like, I don't hate it or anything. It's just, I don't really watch it. Like, I've been trying to get into it more just to try, try to figure out what it's all about. But, like, Texas takes football way too seriously. Well, a lot of places do, but Texas especially. Like, our our school districts have literally spent millions of dollars, like, to build fucking stadiums for, like, a, a middle school or high school where it's, like, on that part, like... That's dumb. Those kids aren't making you any money just because you send them off to some like, just because they do really good at football and go somewhere else to do it doesn't mean they get anything out. I don't understand it. It's it's like a waste of resources, really. Which I guess is kind of what Twitch does a lot because they put out all these updates and shit that nobody actually ever wanted or needed. And they're like, oh, hey, we have this now. And we're like, I don't know. Why the fuck do we care? Can you just fix the, like, ten things that we've asked you to fix for the past, like, few months? And they're like, oh, yeah. And then they come out with something else that nobody really needed. So, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't even know exactly where I was going with all of this. But, basically, I don't like Fortnite. I, I think that's what it started with. And then it turned into football. And this is how my mind works. I apologize. But yeah, um, I don't know. Like, I, I like Twitch. And oh yeah, inspirations. I, I guess that'll be in the title, maybe, of this. I feel like I need to make like a intro screen or something. I don't know. Anyway, like, and and that's why, I, like, I brought up um Tupperware Remix uh party and uh Ninja Sex party because I also watch a lot of Game Grumps, like. And the funny thing is, I'm not very good at YouTube. I mean, this is my... Fourth video? Fourth video! Yeah, because there's Twitch, and then I talked about Zelda, and then I talked about 
um, fucking Final Fantasy. And now we're talking about inspiration. See? I should just have, like, inspiration fly across the screen there. I, obviously, I'm, I don't have, like, a company, so I have to do all the editing myself. So I have to remember to put that in there. I have to remember to do a lot of things, honestly. But, um, but yeah, I really like Game Grumps, um, and I didn't get into them until, like, earlier this year or late last year. I have a couple of friends that watch them a lot, like the, the Power Hours and stuff like that. And honestly, for me, like, I find them inspirational. Granted, both of them have gone through, like, classes for shit. Or, or yeah, like, for, for comedic timing and stuff like that. And Dan and Aaron both have really good voices for singing and just talking in general and doing a lot of things. But I just, I, I, I really like their dynamic. You know, I, and honestly, I lean more towards Dan because I like his really chill temperament. Maybe it's because I'm one of those people who's really, like, not that chill. Like, I, I usually am, but, I mean, if, if any of you have watched me stream anything for any length of time, there's a lot of cursing and sputtering and salt, generally. So, so I, I think I, I guess I identify more with Aaron, although sometimes he gets just mad over, like, the stupid shit. Like, to be honest, but I, I mean, I most likely do too. I just don't think about it in the moment because I'm just pissed off. But, um, but yeah, I just, I like their dynamic and granted I'm running a one man show. Like when I stream, I, I stream by myself. Like I, I, there's sometimes where I stream with other people, like we're doing certain things, but I play a lot of like single player RPGs or just single player games in, in general that, you know, don't have a competitive aspect or just don't have more than one person at the helm. So I don't really have that kind of, I can't like have someone to bounce stuff off of basically, but it's, it's still amazing. Like in the moment, the, the kind of stuff they can come up with, like the kind of jokes and everything like that. And that's kind of what it's, it, it's kind of an inspiration for me ever since I've been watching that. I've been trying to be more just energetic and more receptive, I guess. I mean, if people are in chat, I'll talk. And you know, if people aren't in chat, I'll still talk because I'm, I'm very good at doing that. Um, granted, I'll talk about whatever the fuck, and then it kind of throws people for the loop, because especially people who've never been to my stream, because I just I I just talk about whatever. It is what it is. But um, but yeah, like their dynamic and everything, like it's really awesome, and it's something that like I've been watching a lot of their videos or let's plays and stuff like that, and I kind of just like I'm like I want to be able to be as entertaining to people, well, maybe not as, you know what, you might as well shoot for the stars, right? I'd want to be as entertaining to people as they are to people. Like, granted, the, the people who watch me and who have watched me since the beginning or have shown up recently, like, they like what I do. And I'm like, I don't understand why you like my personality or, like, me yelling at things. But if you do, cool. Then I'll just keep kind of doing what I can, you know, and trying to entertain. And also trying to work on media outreach, because fucking shit, that's hard, especially when you start out, because nobody's following you, and then you have to figure out a way to get people to follow you, and I keep, like, watching you. Like, I mean, on Twitch, I have almost 900 followers, which I'm not trying to flex or anything, because really, in the scheme of things, that's, that's really next to nothing. And plus, if, if, if you're on Twitch, you know, followers past affiliation mean nothing like it's after that it's they're just there it's just a number like certain other things might might um actually use that as a metric streamlabs might i know there's there's a lot of different um companies that like sponsor you know twitch streamers and all like that and they might still look at at followers but for the most part it's concurrent views that's because that's the moneymaker. I mean, that's that's what makes the ad revenue. That's what makes sub revenue if they sub or give bits or all that. Like, you want to have the most viewers you can. It's kind of like YouTube, I guess, but different. Because in YouTube, the raw amount of people you need to make the same amount of money needs to be much higher. And plus, you can't even make money off your videos on YouTube unless you, like, hit a certain point. So, I'm... Honestly, I'm not looking to monetize on YouTube unless, like, I hit a point where it seems like it would actually make sense to do so. I mean, at this point, I can't even... 
Because I have 33 subscribers, and that's not enough to do anything. That's enough to be like, hey, look, 33 people liked my stuff enough to subscribe. But, I mean, out of those 33, how many actually pay attention when I post new stuff? Who knows? I mean, I'm really bad at checking for new stuff, like, on the side tab when it has a little dot. Because I just, when I go to YouTube, I tend to just look at the same shit all the time. I'm trying to kind of broaden my horizons as well, but it is what it is. When you're used to watching the same thing, or you like stuff a lot, you'll just keep watching it, because whatever. And I mean, I watch a lot of Game Grumps because they literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos, <laughs> because they... Because they've, they've mastered... They, they have the metric of running videos that are, like, 10 to 20 minutes long tops, and just having a bunch of that, because... Really, the best way to, to to get a lot of views is to have a bunch of different videos. And I mean, especially the way they release stuff where it's, um, I guess, daily, depending on what they're playing. Because obviously, like, they ha they even say it. They they have recording sessions where they, they record, like, a few hours of gameplay. But, you know, they chop it up into those sections so they can release it as they go. And it works out really well for them, too, considering how busy they are with touring and all that all the time. I'm sorry, this basically turned into me just talking about Game Grumps, but it's it's one of those things where it's really admirable to see that. And granted, you guys probably have a lot of other YouTubers you like to watch. Like, um... The sad thing is I, I know I mostly know about, like, Jack, Septicai, and um, Markiplier through Game Grumps, because... And in a lot of, like, Ninja Sex Party uh, stuff, they're... Markiplier's in a lot of them, to be honest. I think Jack, Septicai is only a few. But yeah! I mean, people probably have their own favorite, obviously, like, brand of humor and all that. Um, funnily enough, I don't enjoy JonTron era Game Grumps because I don't... I, I'm not going to say I don't like JonTron. I mean, I, and I know there's been weird stuff going on. I don't know. I'm really bad at paying attention to, like, drama and shit because I try to stay out of that. But he's just... I, he's got too much energy it's it it's weird for me to say that i guess because i guess i have a lot of energy at times but he's just like like certain videos i can watch and i'm like okay it makes sense to have this level of energy but like there's other videos where he's just like bursting at the seams and i'm like i don't even know why like or how he has this much energy so i don't know but i like if i <laughs> if i'm watching and uh, YouTube decides to bring up, like, a JonTron era um, Game Grumps, I tend to kind of skip it, because it just, like, it feels like, uh, like, JonTron and Aaron just had, like, a really, like, they didn't have a really good chemistry. Like, it, it's, it's like having two, like, very angry people at each, and, and I don't know. I think the reason why I like Dan is just because, like, his voice and everything, he's just, he sounds like, he's, he's like a few he's lower than Aaron at all times. Like, there are some times where he gets angry, but even if he gets angry, it's like, not as angry. <laughs> or not nearly as quickly as well. He more like just goes insane than anything else. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's, so that was, that was that. It, it's, because it, the whole theme of this, I guess now, I know I keep on talking about the theme, but I, I always have to bring it back, mostly to center myself, so I remember what the fuck I'm supposed to be talking about. But yeah, like I find them to be really inspirational because of the the amount of content they put out, the, all the things they've done, and and they do things that they enjoy doing and that they want to do, and it, they've turned it into, you know, Aaron's turned it into a business, and Dan's a part of it, and they've got like m a lot of their friends involved, and even some of the ones that left, like they're still cool with them. They just found like better job opportunities and stuff like that. So, so it's pretty cool. So eventually, it would be nice, and, and I mean, honestly, if you're streaming a lot, it, it, the 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 big dream is to be able to support yourself with streaming alone, because obviously, then you know you're your own boss. Granted, doing uh, quarterly taxes is kind of a pain in the ass, but at the same time, you you literally you just make your own time to do what you want to do, and at this point, Twitch. Like it's it's not even a secondary income. It's not even it's, at this point. It's not really even an income. But I that's partially my fault because I have like figuring out like um like sub incentives and stuff like that. It's just 
I feel like there's not a lot I can do, but then people are like, there's plenty you can do. And I'm like, well, I just, I just have to think of it then, I guess, you know, like I'm not very good with music or art and I'm going to delve into the world of cosplaying, but yeah, I also need to like lose a little bit of weight, I think, before I, I really get on that train. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's all about finding your niche. That's what everybody says. And I mean, that's, it makes sense. And my niche at this point is just kind of playing obscure games and sometimes getting angry, but also being really happy to see people and talk with them. So I, I guess that works. I don't know. We'll see. I just, I just gotta, I just gotta work on things is all. And, I, and that's the other thing is that I always, I don't give myself enough time to do everything because I always assume I don't have enough time. And then I realize that I actually waste a lot of time just watching videos and stuff. Granted, I have been working on, um, because just so you guys know, I have been streaming for over two years now. It's kind of weird to think about that. For just about two years. I mean, I guess over two years, but I've only been affiliated for two. So, I have a huge, huge backlog of videos, because when I stream, I also make sure to record the, the stream. Because uh, Twitch, technically it saves the VODs and stuff, but it's a pain in the ass to download it from them and then... Uh, so I just, I just have OBS record it, and then I've been trying to get better about, um, and I actually have been uploading a lot more VODs of uh, gameplay and stuff, because I, I built a, a new computer, which thankfully, it, the video card is not that great on it. It's, it's better than nothing, but it, it could be better. But just, this rig is a lot better at video editing, and I bought legit video editing software. I'm still not that great at it. But I mean, it's all, it's all about learning, and just getting better at things. So that's my big thing: is I'm trying to get better at being more consistent at putting out content. And this is one of those things, because, and fuck, I like I said, I know it's like it's 11:30 now, so it's almost not Monday. By the time this is cut and uploaded, which I'm really not gonna have to cut much. I usually just kind of add something to the beginning and then the end, and but then I have to re-encode it because you know. You have to do that after you do that shit. So it'll be Tuesday when this actually shows up. And I tell everybody that it's up. But I'm just going to have to work more on consistency in that regard. Because I do want to have more... Like, as much as I look like putting my VODs up just for people to see, like, if they, if they ever missed it, I do like having original content up as well. So I might do Let's Plays this stuff later on. I, I got to figure out like what people because a lot of people like seeing it live, but at the same time, not everybody can always see that stuff like when it's live. So they, they can't interact anyway. So it's like, I might as well just do a let's play and then they could just leave comments and stuff on the video. So this is actually going to be a bit sh shorter than my other rants, I guess, because it's only 23 minutes, but I, I should probably find like a good sweet spot. It's just, you know, when I talk about certain things, I get a lot more passionate and then it takes longer. Like, the first one about TwitchCon was, like, 36 minutes, because there was a lot of stuff to go over. The one about Zelda was actually about that long. Maybe just a little bit longer. But I kind of, I skimmed over a lot of the stuff. I was just kind of like, this is the one I like, blah, blah, and I kind of tried to figure out the, the timeline, but it's, I have an older version of the Hyrule Historia that doesn't have Breath of the Wild or some of the newer, newer games, so I'm just like, we won't worry about that. And then Final Fantasy, I had to talk about all of the 15 Final Fantasies, because I played all of them, just haven't beaten 2 or 13, because I... If you watch my last video, you know I do not like those at all. But uh, eventually I'll probably go through them on stream, and, and I'll, I'll show the games that even if I don't like them, I can still beat them, probably. Um, but yeah, that one was like an hour and ten minutes almost, just because I was, I was kind of like going over each one for a few minutes at a time. And I forget, you know, it adds up. I was talking about some of the other ones too. And that's the one that I probably did the most video editing, even if it was just like a quick, like, splash of the, um, the games, like, box art. I was still kind of proud of myself because I'm like, I'm doing something, though. Something is happening. But yeah. So... You know what? What I want you guys to do today, if you if you bother to watch uh, this far into the video, 
is usually I, I I try to end with like something if if somebody wants to like say something in the comments below. Obviously, I don't get a lot of traction because there's it's not a lot of people there. But if you watch this video and you get to this part, what I want to know is I already told you like Game Grumps, Dan and Aaron, they're they're kind of my inspiration at this point. Like there's other streamers too that I really like and all that. And I, I might do a, a, a time where I kind of like shout out individual people that have really helped me along or that I really like. But right now we were talking about inspiration like in YouTube. A lot of people probably find inspirational things on YouTube. So what I want you guys to do is write in the comments below who inspires you, whether it's a YouTuber, a musician, uh, an actor, something. I'm terrible with actors, so I may not know who they are. But I'll, I'll do my damnedest to try to respond to people or just, like, see what's going on. Because I know everybody draws inspiration from different things, whether it's people. Some people might not even draw it from people. You might just draw it from music or even games or other stuff, depending on what your your end goal in life is or w what you're interested in. So, so, yeah. That's it. Write in the comments below what your inspiration is or who your inspirational person is, just whichever way it is. and. As always, if you like my videos, even though it's just me, like, talking about whatever the fuck, make sure to like and subscribe, because I'm going to keep every Monday, just last time it was on Wednesday, today's going to be Tuesday, next week it'll actually be on Monday, um, we will have another manifest about something. I will make sure that before, <laughs> before next Monday I write up a list of things of topics that I can talk about that I'm pretty sure I can focus on for longer than five minutes. But yeah, thank you so much for being here and uh, hanging out, guys, and you have a fantastic rest of your whatever day it's going to be when you watch this. I'll catch you later.